Now, the government is still awaiting a response from the Jamaica Public Service, the JPS, regarding the recent increase in electricity bills amid growing concerns about the impact on Jamaicans who are struggling with the rising cost of living. As the government calls for a full rollback of the recent increases, questions arise regarding the JPS's compliance with its license provisions and the role of the Office of Utilities Regulation, the OUR, in the matter. In a statement on Friday, Energy Minister Darl Vaz voiced serious concerns around the utility company's absence of a proposal. The government of Jamaica is still awaiting word from the JPS concerning the proposal to ease the burdens on the Jamaicans re the recent bills. The position of the government of Jamaica remains a full rollback of the increases. I'm also concerned about word emerging that the OUR was blindsided concerning the increases. If this is so, that is unacceptable and raises questions about JPS's compliance with provisions of its license, and it also raises serious questions about the OUR's level of vigilance. What I can say, the information that I'm receiving, which I've written to the JPS, and now I've written to the OUR, in relation to questions concerning whether or not the OUR was consulted as is required by the license, and the act to consult and get approval for any significant rate increases. Now, Minister Vaz adds, if the OUR was not properly consulted as required by the JPS's license, it strengthens the government's case for a full rollback of the increases, including a possible refund or credit to affected customers. If this, what I'm hearing, has not been done, I have not gotten it officially from the OUR or the JPS, only through the media, then if this was not done, then it even strengthens my case for a full rollback of the recent increases, a refund or a credit to those who have paid, and that nothing should be confirmed or concluded until the OUR reviews the recent increases. And that is my stringent position 